let's do it. Check the mic and make sure it sounds <laughs> right, boys. Oh yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Jeff and Sean here. Once again, Frankie's on, on his hiatus. He's on leave. Tease and peace, Frankie. So it's, it's so it's the dynamic duo back again to uh I know it sounds like an ASMR thing right now, but we're over at Jeff's house recording. Yeah, so. it sounds great. So Phenomenal. Sure. Just got done with the fights. Just got done watching Conor McGregor versus <gasps> Dustin Ooh. Poirier. Not what and I expected. Dustin Poirier shocked the world. Gave him the business. Dustin Poirier with a second round TKO finish after chopping his leg down with those calf kicks. Hey, it like, you know, in all honesty, Dustin is at a different level right now. Like, I've watched Dustin fight forever. Yeah. I mean, I've seen him fight since his first fight in the UFC. So, I mean, I've watched him fight for a long ass time. And this Dustin Poirier would whoop the shit out of a young Dustin Poirier. I feel like I should be facing you. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Just turn it a little bit. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, he, He's just cleaner. He doesn't. He doesn't make. He doesn't do make stupid mistakes. Towards the end of the fight, you know, right before he was gonna knock him out, he started throwing a little bit wild. Then he kind of reeled it back in and didn't fucking you know murder him anything. It was. I thought it was a great performance. Uh, first round, I first round went to Connor, and then Connor was teeing him up pretty good, but yeah, Poirier was getting him with those leg kicks. It was no, he just chopped the shit out of that front leg. Connor, yeah, at the end yeah, of the fight, yeah, he was fucking Con- done. Yeah, Connor, his leg stand. was just. Yeah. And you know, no offense to Michael Bisbing and talking about cardio, dude. The post fight, yeah, his fucking leg was hamburger meat. He couldn't fucking <laughs> stand, dude. It was over. It was bad, man, and it's crazy that. That's like the big thing in the UFC now is calf kicks. Oh, yeah. Because once you take out their calf, their leg just goes numb, and they can't even stand on the fucking thing. Like, everybody's going to talk about the Connor fight and Connor losing and talking shit. Oh, Connor's done. Blah, blah. No, dude, he hasn't fought in fight. Fu- the last time he was in the cage, he was in the cage for 40 fucking seconds. And Ring he hasn't, rust, right? And he uh, hasn't. Yeah. And I don't think it's. Is there there's such thing as ring rust? Yeah. I mean, some guys get it, some guys don't. Being inactive, though, not getting punched or hit or, you know, yeah, you're sparring and training, but you're not trying to fucking murder each other in training. You're you're making yourselves better sparring. Do you think, though, that Connor is motivated like he used to be? I don't think he I needs mean, to be. I mean, he's got like. I don't think he needs what, to be. Probably 200 mil in the bank right now. Oh, he's probably got more than that. He made 100 mil on the fucking fight. With, right. Now he's got his with proper, the old, proper 12 that we drank tonight. With the old proper, uh, you know, I think he's motivated by uh, wanting to be the best. And Connor, he's humble as fuck though. Connor, Connor is one of the most humble in defeat guys I've ever seen. Even after the whole all the shit with fucking Khabib, he came out and said, "Hey, he was just a better fighter that night." Blah 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 blah. blah. But when you're sitting off for as long as he has, because he's, listen, like I said, he didn't fight. All of 2017 or something, like, or 2018, came back in 2019, or no, didn't fight 2019, fought for 40 seconds in 2020. Yeah. And then hasn't fought again. And that was, early, that was like, what, pre-pandemic that he fought? Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, there was a crowd there. Yeah. So, yeah. The fuck, you know, when you don't have it, when you're not putting any fucking miles on, you're not going to fucking fight 100. percent I don't know, bro. And his whiskey's good. <laughs> and Michael fucking Chandler, what a debut! Oh yeah, that was crazy. He gave him the old one two. Michael Chandler comes in, Bellator champion, likes to block punches with his face. I I thought Dan Hooker would have been way more aggressive. He wasn't. He was. He just no. Just I don't. Took th- it. I don't think Hooker threw fucking, but ten fucking punches that whole fight. He was, he was backpedaling he was the whole time. 
that well, the got. dude came out aggressive as fuck, and he's probably like, "Oh shit!" He's a little pit bull, man. He's yeah, he definitely five foot yeah, eight, he charged at him. <laughs> he's you know when you're <laughs> five five foot eight, shredded like fucking coleslaw. The dude is, I mean, oh, it's not enough. Nine I'm like, body. there's no way that dude's 155 pounds. Yeah, no, he and it's it's incredible that he makes that weight, but he's, like I said, wonderful fight, wonderful fight for him, and now I want to see him versus Dustin Poirier for the the belt. That's what, yeah. K- Khabib's not coming back. For everybody that's holding that fucking flame for Khabib to come back, Khabib's done. Dana's hoping. And Dana he said it in that press conference. Sucking Khabib's cock. And Dana whatever said whatever he has to do. He said it in the press conference. He goes. Khabib even told me, he's like, I'm, I've beat everybody you put in front of me. I'm head and shoulders above everybody that's in there. Someone's going to really have to impress me to fucking get me back. It wasn't tonight. <laughs> no, knocking out Dan Hooker doesn't isn't impressive. I'm sorry. It's no. impressive for that, but it's not Khabib versus Chandler for the belt impressive. Yeah. Now, if, Khabib, if Chandler does that to Dustin Poirier, then we might be talking about something. Yeah. Or, you know, or Charles Oliveira, which, listen, I love Charles Oliveira. He's, you know, got the most submission wins in featherweight hi- or lightweight history, but nah. No. Nah. Nah, I, don't, I don't think I don't think he's the guy. Nothing's tickling his fancy. He beat, he beat Tony Ferguson, but let's be honest about Tony Ferguson. It's another guy who has fought two fights in fucking, what, five years? There, that's... There's fucking, you have to fight. You have to, con- like everybody now is, like I ran on Twitter, everybody, oh, Nate Diaz, Connor 3. <laughs> Nate Diaz hasn't fought in fucking two years. Nick Diaz hasn't fought in like five. Why haven't they fought? Just because? Because they're idiots. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, oh, I'm, that's not, that fight's not worth my time, but... What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Yeah, no, they got money get in, in the, the bank, fu- so. get in the fucking cage and fight. You're supposed to be the fucking baddest dudes on the planet. If they throw someone in front of you, murk them, go on to the next guy. You're not just going to get fucking title shots anymore because you beat Conor McGregor fucking, what, seven years yeah, ago now? Yeah, a long time. Get over it, dude. Right, I'm sorry. Bro. Keep her moving. <laughs> and I love Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is one of my favorite fighters. That's one of those guys that when you watch someone fight and they just beat you with fucking this constant barrage of shots, like Max Holloway, two fight two weeks ago. Yeah. Dude, I've seen the highlights. That was pretty fucking ridiculous. Dude threw fucking, had 532 significant strikes in a fight. <laughs> yeah. In a five-round fight. Substantial so, amount. And he threw 700 punches in a five-round fight. In a 25-minute five, 25-minute fight. He threw 700 fucking strikes. How many strikes is that a minute? Dude, I don't know. It's over 100 fucking strikes around. I don't know. This isn't a math podcast. No, no. We just, dude, we, we're lucky we could fucking figure just, out how to press it's... a button to start this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but man, other than that, how's your week been, bud? <laughs> been great. The fights were great. It ended out, well, yeah. I mean, I had a staycation. I yeah, you. yeah, you uh, you guys went to a. Uh... Well, things have been crazy. Moved back in with uh, with uh, my mom while we're looking for a new house, and uh, there's fucking nothing out there, and we're all going stir crazy over here. Uh, there's just no escape. Kids everywhere, crying, bitching. They want the TV. Can't play video games. Then we have no time to even talk about anything. No alone yeah. time whatsoever. Yeah. So we're like, fuck it. We went on a staycation. So, uh, yeah, went out to dinner, rented a hotel room by the hour. <laughs> so, so you only use 25 minutes of it? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, how long? I'm like, can, can we charge by the minute? <laughs> I just need like five minutes. <laughs> Two of them's going to be trying to take my pants off. <laughs> In the, the other, in the last the minute, last two, let's put my pants back on. <laughs> trying to find that, the underwear. I just need that window right in between there. But no. That sweet spot, if you will. No, it was nice. We fucking went to uh, old Holy Cannoli. Yeah, I've never been there. Phenomenal Italian restaurant. Out by, uh, (laughs) I don't know if it's in Elkhorn. What is that? Uh, Abel's Corners? Yeah. Yeah. Hit it up. 
If you're local, I don't know where you're at. I uh, fly in if you're rich. I get a chuckle because the people that are going to watch this. This how we're sitting reminds me of that the sweaty ball skit from fucking Saturday Night Live. Ooh, yeah. Just, ooh, that sounds delicious. I noticed too when we started. I'm like, why is he so far away? And my cats are about to fuck in the background. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. They're both sleeping, and the one's sleeping sitting up. Uh, but no, it was nice, the staycation. It was just nice to get away. No kids. It was quiet. We had a nice big bed, room all to ourselves. Uh, Shit yeah. with the door open, huh? Oh, you know it, bro. <laughs> you know it. Babe. 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 Come look at the shit I just took. Look at the size <laughs> of this. Look at the shit. I ate 35 pounds of lasagna. Look oh, what came out so of me. It's so good. It's so good. We'll have to go for sure. Yeah, well. It was good. I had a good time. What about you? How's yours, Ben? Oh, How's I your worked. Week? I, I worked and uh, worked. <laughs> and then? Worked a little bit more. And then uh, Friday, watched somebody in Michigan win you know a billion dollars on the fucking mega millions congrats sir yeah or was it a sir i don't know sir ma'am whatever hopefully ma'am. hopefully you not do, binary hopefully you do something very well positive with it well maybe they're transitioning to be a mermaid and he's gonna buy a big aquarium maybe they- <laughs> that'd be awesome i bought sea world so i could live that here. that would be great i bought sea world so i could live here <laughs> I bought a lobster too. <laughs> <laughs> a lobster with a bad attitude. I bought a lobster. What was this lobster's name? <sighs> a little mermaid. I feel like I should know this. Sebastian. Song. Sebastian. <laughs> that was the flounder, wasn't it? No, the flounder was flounder, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> was it its name yes, flounder? Yes, you're right. Or am I thinking of Animal House with flounder? No, <laughs> flounder was a flounder. Yeah. Sebastian. On da da see. Oh, oh, careful. Disney will, Disney will fucking oh, Jesus. throw a fist up our asses real quick. We started oh, saying they. that shit. How oh, dare they? They own everything. Fucking A right. ESPN, ABC. It's crazy when you look through everything that Disney owns. Remember back in the day when they used to talk about monopolies and there no no such thing as a monopoly yeah. and you can't have a monopoly. You, you know, you can't have someone own two sports teams and all that bullshit. Uh, what the Disney fuck happened? Disney owns everything. Disney and Amazon. I, I saw something. The, well, there was a picture the other day when it had Disney yeah. Monopoly. It yeah. was a Monopoly game with Mickey Mouse on it. Like, we should have seen the signs when this came 100%, out. 100%. Which is it's hilarious because, once again, Simpsons fucking pointed that out. 20th Century Fox, yeah. Walt Disney Company, and they yeah. said that shit like in 95. <laughs> well, what's funny, too, is uh, I saw... Um, a thing the other day, so it had the timeline of Disney like buying companies and all that yeah. shit, but it didn't stop at 2020. It just kept going to like 2077. Like, just, yeah, to like, like 20, but yeah, to where they just ran. Mickey Mouse was the president. <laughs> so, so it's like Demolition Man where Taco Bell is like the fancy restaurant. Yes. Yeah, everything is Disney. It's fucking hilarious. God, I hope not. I still have, I listen, I pay for Disney Plus and I legitimately haven't fucking. Logged into Disney Plus in uh, probably two months. Yeah, I'm, once uh, I, I pretty much just watched The Mandalorian, mm-hmm. which is great, awesome, love it. You got a sweet little hat on today. I, the Star Wars edition, Milwaukee Brewers, Boba Fett hat. Your backpack's got jets. <laughs> I'm Boba <laughs> the Fett. <laughs> I played that for the boys the other day. Loved it. How can you, did you play him Chewbacca too? But if, <laughs> I didn't. They love the bad lip reading, the Star Wars ones. Oh, yeah. The fucking seagull one with <laughs> <laughs> Yoda. Yeah. Fucking love it. So we were uh, watching uh, Honest Movie Trailers today. And if you haven't seen the live action Dragon Ball Z movie, give it a watch. <laughs> give it a watch if you want to see something that should have never been made. <laughs> Like I, I, I would have loved to have been in that board meeting. Hundred percent. When they're like, "I got an idea, bro." Just snorting coke off the table. These guys <laughs> gonna be the main guys gonna be white. <laughs> like white. Yeah. Actually, like this fine china. <laughs> Ninety percent of the people this powder. movie. 
90 percent of the people in this movie are going to be white except for his dying grandfather yeah <laughs> and the teacher did they ever explain that i don't think so well they kind of mixed in like japanese americans yeah and i mean they put in jamie chung who was a korean i believe i so. mean yeah i don't even know what it's completely based off of japanese yeah. i guess i mean Japan animation anime if you will i'm sorry i'm ignorant to the to dragon ball z fans are probably like motherfucker shut up you don't know who fucking krillin is how dare you goku is that his name goku yes see i know what i'm talking about you motherfuckers what you vegeta what yeah well and <laughs> it, it's yeah. just there's just fucking movies that shouldn't be made and that being one of them. You can't take a something that had, what, 24 comic books and fucking, what, 15 years of television? And it had such an a massive amazing, following. Yeah, massive following, amazing fan base, and they're just like, here's your well, shit. You know what it was, too, is because, like, we watched in the thing, they, in the... They were losing the licensing. Fox was losing the licensing so for it. Yeah, so they so had to like, fuck shit it, let's out make a, movie. a movie before we lose it. Same thing with like the Fantastic Four movie that never got released. The company that owned it was losing the rights because Marvel was bought by Disney. Yeah. So they had ten minutes to make that fucking movie, basically. And script wise for that Fantastic Four movie is awesome. If you actually watch that, like it would be a fucking banger of a movie if they just took that script and made it the movie. But the CGI is shit. I mean, it's <laughs> it's bad. Like, you know, when you have the uh, boyfriend from Uncle Buck as Johnny Storm. Yeah. And, like, the, the, the actors, the actors were, I mean, they did a great job in the movie. But in all honesty, they, they were. Dog shit. They, you can be honest. It's, it's a safe it's, place. Yeah, it's the, it's the lowest of the low when it comes to, it's like. <laughs> It's like they're like one step above commercial actors. Yeah. Like I'm waiting for one of them Soap to be. Soap opera. I'm waiting for one of them to sh show up and hold him the Valtrex bottle. And say, yeah. You know, this helped my herpes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. So go watch some shitty movies. They're fucking. Shout out to fucking Blade. You know what? <laughs> Blade popped up there. We watched the Honest Trailers for Blade. But, you know, it angered me when, uh, Everyone was like, fine, when uh, Black Panther came out, finally, yeah. a black comic book hero. And I was like, what? You've never heard of Blade? My favorite comic book movie of all time is Blade, a black lead character. Spawn? Spawn? I mean, what, what are we even doing here? Dare you. No, dude. <laughs> Blade single-handedly paved the way for all the movies. I mean, Howard the Duck was the first yeah, we, we don't talk we all, about Howard the Duck. No, we just pretend it doesn't happen. There's like I mean, duck porn, unless you're in a duck porn. <laughs> yeah, which is really weird that she wanted to fuck the duck, I'm just saying. Yeah, she's rubbing his feathers in bed, and he's getting, yeah, he's getting feather the... boners on top of his head. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, and does he have a dick? I mean, there's a lot of things to answer. In well, that. within the first 15 seconds of the movie, you see duck titties. <laughs> It's true. You do see duck tits. You see duck tits. That's the X-rated version of Duck Tales. Woo! Uh, do yourself a favor. Take an edible and watch Howard the Duck. <laughs> Don't just take the edible and watch Howard the Duck. I take that back. Take an edible. Wait about an hour and a half. Let and it then, marinate a little bit and then, then watch, watch Howard the Duck. Because you want to be high when those titties, those duck titties come on the screen. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we should pause this. I want to watch it right now. Can we <laughs> Come take a back break? to it. <laughs> Come back to it. Uh, yeah, and it was just, it's just when you're making like a, an adaptation of a comic book movie, man, you got to find someone who actually has read the comic book before. Well, what's with duck titties? Was that necessary? I mean, don't get me I wrong. Mean, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I mean, when you're fucking seven years, eight years old, when you see that movie, you what? see a set of duck titties. Those were my first tits. From that point, I thought all tits had feathers on them. Because they always call chicks birds. It was a lie. Pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> the the chickens are not clucking. 
Remember they came out with no scrubs? Yeah. And then who came out with no pigeons? Oh, God damn it. Uh, I can't remember. It wasn't too short, was it? It was something like that. It was someone whose career lasted about 38 seconds. Yeah. Let's be It came honest. out with no pigeons. Pigeons be clucking. <laughs> Chickens be clucking. <laughs> yeah, but those are pigeons, bro. You ever seen a pigeon? <laughs> Bobbing her head through the club. How about that pigeon that fucking saluted fucking Putin? You ever see that video? No. There's a pigeon walking on the ground and Putin's walking like they're walking into it and then you got the line of people. Mm-hmm. And the pigeon legitimately <laughs> saluted, saluted him. Phenomenal. Then the next clip is the pigeon jumping off a fucking cliff. Dying to its uh, death? Uh, who knows? Maybe. Fly, pelican, Fly. fly. <laughs> I want to fly. Uh, the fights should... took a lot of juice out of me, man. Yeah, that con- that kind of dude. I, when I watch fights, especially with guys that I fucking enjoy watching fight, my anxiety goes through the goddamn roof because I don't want to see you're any. not even fighting. Yeah, and I still you get anxious. Real, just crazy. I anxious. get excited. Like, come on, I want to see a good fight. Like, but I don't my, get anxiety. my hands tingle. Like my hands, my hands tangle. Like I get weird anxi- <laughs> fight anxiety for fights I want to see, fights that I'll spend money on. Watching someone that I don't have to pay any money for, I'm not gonna be like, whoa. But I mean, when yeah. you see guys like like Connor fight, like John Jones fight, like the big names he of the sport, the bumps. and like guys that I'm just like, oh, finally we get to see this guy back in the cage. Let's yeah. see. What, like when Connor fought Cowboy, I'm like, dude, I love Cowboy. One of my favorite fighters of all time. So you had the sweats for sure. Oh, dude, I was in. in How'd you in, feel in, after when Connor in, beat well, the brakes off him? In all honesty, we yeah, I was higher you. than Jesus on the space <laughs> shuttle watching that fight. Too. Higher than the Tyson fight. Oh yeah. Really? I was, Remember I you, you? You we were on, first off we were on edibles. Then I smoked that joint right before it. <laughs> like I was, I sat down and I'm watching that fight and. I was so chink-eyed that, uh, you know, I could not see. I, I, my eyes were shut. That's I, happening. I was, I was, I mean, I shouldn't have said what I just said. I apologize to all you. of our Asian <laughs> listeners. <laughs> that was a stereotypical saying, but. How dare you. You know how it is. Things happen. Yeah. But, yeah, it was, it's. But like, I guarantee you got the point across. They know what you meant. Yeah. No disrespect. It's, when I watch, like when I watch the Bears playoff game, when you start the game, I'm nervous. I'm like, I got that nervous energy. I'm like, oh fuck, we can, we actually got a shot at winning this. And then you watch the game, and you're thoroughly disappointed. Yeah. Your heart's ripped out. And I don't know what it, it's just the, the things that I really enjoy. I fucking dive deep. I have a deep, passionate love for it. I know. I've watched a Bears game with you. Oh, I'm you get so very angry. upset. <laughs> I yell so much. I try to hold it in. Oh, you and you I just, just got to accept it. <laughs> accept it. They suck. Just take your lumps and oh, dude, your life goes on. Carry yeah. on. Listen, I'm a White Sox fan. I am wearing a Brewers hat right now, but I didn't make Star Wars Day for at the White Sox Park. So It's not even May the 4th. Look at you go. No, it's not. Yeah, this year, White Sox. White Sox are going to win the World Series. No way. I'm saying it now. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want anybody else to hear it. Because you want to be the only one who said no, White Sox are going to win. They they made a lot. Their roster stacked. They did. They're ready. Stacked. What happened to the Cubbies? They're blowing their roster up. They're just cutting everybody. They're just like, <laughs> fuck, fuck you. Besides Baez, right? He's like the only one that's Baez and Bryant. But I think Bryant... I thought Bryant was leaving. <laughs> they might ship him out too. See you fucking later. No fucking. I can't watch baseball anymore, unless it's my kids. I get into that baseball. <sighs> yeah, for sure. Baseball. Yeah, I understand that. Like, no, uh, can't do it. I can watch baseball when it's I know in you're the a baseball fan, but you like. It's playoff baseball. There's too many games, and it's like, fuck, three hours every other day? Dude, 162 games fucking six times a week. I ain't got time, ain't nobody got time for that. That's rough. It's rough. That That's, you know, that's why I love football. It's only once a week. It sucks, though, because 
all these other sports are making these rule changes to make the game faster, more. Ex- I mean, football is always about more scoring, more well, points, yeah, more of this, course. more offense. And baseball will just they have a stranglehold on the past like no other sport. They're like, no fucking way. What about our records? Like, dude, y- your average age of people watching 60. 10 years ago was 55. Now it's 65. So it's yeah. like, <laughs> in 10 years, it's going to well, be, be 75. Honest. Well, let's be honest. If they're 65 years old, they're going to want to take a nap anyway. Yeah. I'm going to drink my going. prune juice and turn on the baseball. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put I'm gonna put on the Cubs game on the radio. <laughs> I don't know. I miss but, the excitement of being a kid. Like you knew the, the game. Now it's like you're looking for the games, even basketball. I'm like, NBA what, what channel is, is the fucking game on? The, I have no fucking clue. The NBA used to be the end all be all. I remember just the Bulls in, were on WGN. Johnny Redker, like you knew what you were getting. Johnny Redker, Wayne Larravee. It was great. And then the Cubs, it was on WGN, channel fucking nine. It was uh Harry Carey Harry and, and who's Steve the other? Stone. Yes. And the White Sox. I room. knew where to find the game. So yeah. if I wanted to watch the game, boom, I was there. Now mm-hmm. it's like all these Teams want as much money as they can get. So now they all have their own channel. So the Cubs got Marquee Network. Yeah. Pay $20 a month for 24-7 Cubs coverage. Like, well, that what? was like. fuck you, are you talking dude, about? Remember Easter. Every Easter was always a Bulls game. It was always the Bull, And it was always a good game. Bulls versus Knicks. God. Oh, yeah. 90s, 90s. 90s Bulls versus Knicks. Oh, on Easter, that was like a fucking watching a heavyweight title fight. Just two dudes, they just beat the shit out of each other. But now it's like, do I want to watch the fucking Bulls? Are the Bulls even watchable? Watch a bull? Uh, watch a bull. I'm not watching any Bulls. Uh, like, <laughs> the, the it M- sucks the NBA is like, there's only maybe five teams that can win. And if you don't have the best player in the league, forget about it. Well, in the problem is the how all the rule changes and the you know yo it's two steps that's what you get driving the lane one two up they could the euro step you get an extra one the you yeah now you got the euro step and you got the step back step back and you got the james harden triple step back where you step back fucking three times then shoot it it's just just, call it the moonwalk yeah it's it's soft it's gotten soft. Yeah, whatever, but we just sound like old fucks. Dude, I'll fucking Thinking wear, about the past right now. I'll wear it like a fucking badge of honor. Speaking of the past, we were talking about the past today at the old, talking about the old house. Fucking the body count at the old house of people. Oh, no. Drunken people throwing up on themselves. Sean's old house and his two roommates, right? Yep. Mike and Ben. Yep. Oh Jesus! Where yeah. the stage nine, the stage nine happened. This is the first ever stage nine. Sean cleaning. was doing the fucking old fire drill on the floor, <laughs> <laughs> under the smoke, <sighs> ears open. <laughs> is that what happened? Is that what you called it? I'm gonna give him the old fire drill. <laughs> it's. <laughs> That, <laughs> Go that, listen to that podcast if you want to hear the fucking stage nine story. Probably one of the greatest yeah. stories I've ever heard in my life. The stage nine clinger. Oh, oh, bro. No, that that house, if the walls can talk, I'd be in prison right now, probably. Oh, Jesus. We would have my 27th birthday party we had it there. I bought a keg, and I went to every bar in town, and they gave me a free bottle of liquor. And it wasn't like liquor you'd want to drink it was like like lime Suit vodka yourself sir like lime vodka and you know just mm. just all the the liquor that ladies you did. love that shit though back then it, back then it was different too back then it was either straight it was straight vodka or for the ladies they had all that even UV, the ladies yeah well it was always uv, UV blue cake it was it's, no see this was before <laughs> uv cake we had our freezer consisted of, at all times, a bottle of vodka and a bottle of Jägermeister and a bottle of Rumpelmints. 
Does anyone drink Jaeger anymore? I, I don't about think so. I really Jaeger don't. Jaeger was so hot for a period of time, and then Jaeger bombs. Forget about Jaeger it. Jaeger got replaced by Fireball. Everybody that drank Jaeger switched to Fireball. Fireball. Just and Fireball is off. just as shitty as Over Jaeger. Here mumbling. I don't give drunk, a drunk, f- Sean. If you know this, you're drunk. No yeah. shit. No well, shit. You tell? I, I've been watching you hammer <laughs> down drinks all night. Uh, I'm still going, baby. Fireball's trash. I'm sorry. If I want diabetes, I'll keep eating the way. Oh, I we do. already talked. Up. Well, I already talked about this, but I don't like cinnamon. Yeah. You can keep it. Big red gum. Go fuck yourself. If you don't chew, chew I don't big like red, any go fuck cinnamon yourself. shit. When it's overly aggressive cinnamon shit, I like like apple pie shots. Yeah, where like there's that. where there's a little in there. Where it's like real cinnamon. Like it's a little when you flavor. Give it that spicy, hot, fart in your mouth. Fucking cinnamon. <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm done. you. You've always been a mint guy. It's always been Rumplemints. Rumplemints, doctors. Rumplemints. Rumplemints, oh. my jam, dude. The it's amount cats me out. The amount of Rumplemints we've consumed. From like, I want to say, 2005 to <laughs> to 2014, oh, we baby. kept that fucking company in business, oh, baby. Yeah, like when we were when we were DJing every fucking weekend, it was like guaranteed a bottle of Rumplemints was going down. It would make an Eskimo blush. Just because minty things remind me of the snow. And we that's would, why I just thought of an Eskimo. So there you have it. We had, a, analogy. we had a run on Soko and Limes. And then, yeah. And that was just... Liquid that, cocaine was... The liquid cocaine was the Jaeger and Rumplemints. I used to love getting people cement mixers. Oh, fucking Bailey's and lime <laughs> juice. Let's like, get yo, it. Yo, got you shot. What is it? Just take it. I didn't like them. But I'd do it just to watch. Just it's so bad. Someone else throw up in their mouth, <laughs> just <laughs> or on the pool table. <laughs> chewing that, chewing that curdled milk down. Ugh. Oh, you want to fuck with your friends? Go ahead and order a cement mixer. See what happens. We used to. Oh my it god! It is three wise hilarious. men. We used to murder people with three, three wise, wise men, men too. Yeah. Jim, Jack, and Jose all in cheeseburger one class. shots at Hooters. Cheeseburger shots were good though. Mm. Where are they? Where are they? I'm not I'm not a big tequila guy though, so they were all right. The Jenna Jamesons were good. That was a triple X and Jameson. Yeah, forgot about those. Dude, we fucking put hurting on them for a while. Jesus. I'm gonna have to put shout the out age, shout out to Rhino. All this booze talk. I'm gonna have to put the age limit on this fucking podcast. Shout out to Rhino Cock and Kitty Ring. Oh Jesus. That's Christ. where we used to drink all the fucking Jenna Jamesons with. And if Shout you don't, out! If you don't know who they are, that you didn't hang out with us back then. <laughs> yeah, so fuck you! I'm, you missed out, my glory years. Oh, Jeff, have you posted a picture yet? Have you wear the fucking gloves? Not yet. <laughs> it's coming. I should put one up right now. Feast your eyes. <sighs> Go to our YouTube channel. The picture that keeps the pictures that keep surfacing right now are becoming. I'm hoping to God it was the same night. It has I, to be, I, right? I'm, I'm praying it was the same night. I'm going to tell you right now that. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I went through an Avenged Sevenfold phase. I had, like, bandanas on. Like, Frankie? I had workout gloves on. Famous Stars and Stripes t-shirts for days. Famous Stars and Straps. Sir. Straps. Yes, Famous Stars and Straps. Sleeves cut off with a wife beater underneath. Oh, bro. Cut all the way down. Well, that was when that Travis Barker show was on there. Yeah. And that was his company, and I was like, fuck yeah. Had the huge fucking mohawk for a little bit. I was feeling, yeah, I had a huge mohawk. I was just solid. You go through phases. Some of them I'm not proud of. You think those ladies who look back at their prom pictures with that big-ass poofy hair in the 80s are like, y'all look good. I'm not proud of things I've done, but whatever. You live and you learn. I'm sure there's... Pictures of you floating around the internet, and you're like, "Oh Jesus, someone please God delete uh, this." Yo, I'm gonna be honest. I pretty much look the same, except my beard's a lot thicker. How dare you? I got a picture on my phone that'll say otherwise. Well, that's <laughs> like my fucking <laughs> sophomore year of high school or freshman year of high school before I found the wonderful world. You of- looked exactly like John Oliver. <laughs> 
I had hair too. It was crazy. It's crazy. I had hair. Oh my god. I I uh I really I can remember back being a freshman and just wanting to be accepted by somebody. Just I was just like just wanted to be loved. Just wanted to be just, just wanted to be touched. part of the cool kids. You want you wanted to be hugged. You weren't <laughs> hugged enough. No, I wasn't. I was I was uh, I was slapped around. You want to hug now? Get the fuck out <laughs> right now. <laughs> no, it it was just I, you know, when you when you're young and stupid and you see what the fucking other kids are doing, you're like, I want to be that. Yeah. And then you realize those guys are douchebags. And now I look back and I see what they're all doing, and they're all fucking horrible human beings. So that's the one thing I'm going to teach my kids when they get into like high school. You know, you want to be in the in crowd. You want to be with all these other kids. It ain't worth it. I don't talk to anybody I went to high school with. You know, and it's not because, like, you know, I don't really, you just, you go away, they go to school, or they join the military, you know, then they start families. It's like, no one gives a flying fuck about how cool you were in like, high school when you're 35 years old. Exactly. Like, I, I'm i still friends with people that I hung out with back then. You know, yeah, you're friendly. Yeah, I'm. But you don't. I, I'm, you're yeah, not partying when I'm well, no. the weekends and shit. No, if I see him out at the bar, I'll have a drink with him. You're well, in my mom's basement with me right now. It's true. <laughs> and actually, so the, the, we... the, the the pictures that Jeff's gonna post, hopefully, was like right around the time when I first start. We first started really hanging out when we the the fucking that was the, when we became the bromance. Friends. The bromance began. The You're like, this guy's got weightlifting gloves on. He's cool as fuck. I'm going to make him my it, friend. It wasn't even that. It was just because you and I instantly became friends because we would start spouting off movie fucking quotes. Yeah. And just, we'd talk in movie references, and people would look at us like we were retarded. Like what? We could have a legit full conversation with only movie quotes. Uh, just the pictures of Frankie. Looking back at Frankie back then. Francis. Young Francis. Dude, just the tan as shit. Jawline, the six chisel pack. jawline, six pack, showing off. How dare he? And now look at him. <laughs> the shell of the man he used to be. He still looks good. He got no. cocky though when he started losing weight, and he noticed a few mirrors. Mm-hmm. I remember one of the funniest things I ever witnessed is Frankie. When he was back, looking good, jawline, six mm-hmm. packs. He was dating this girl. She was beautiful, beautiful girl. Mm-hmm. And what the funny thing was, when they used to go out, they wouldn't compliment each other. No. They would compliment themselves. <laughs> Very so she would narcissistic. Be like, God, I'm fucking hot as shit. And then Frankie'd be over in the corner, like looking in the mirror. Yeah, I'm hot too. Fuck. And they would just start making out. <laughs> it was it was basically it was y- so using st- each other for masturbation because they knew how yeah. good they looked. <laughs> like they didn't even want to fuck; they wanted no, to touch each other. No, they just were masturbating In to themselves, of, yeah. basically. <laughs> I don't have to use my hands; I'm just gonna use you. Yeah, <laughs> look how hot I am. You're my walking oh, fleshlight. Yeah. You want this hot pussy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this dick's so hot take it like there's there's like a there's like a level of dirty talk there's a level of narcissism that i'd never reached yeah no i mean look at me do you think i could ever be fucking narcissistic (laughs) no (laughs) you're hot sean you know what though i'm hot (laughs) now you say something good about yourself no let's do an experiment see you can't even that's not right i could take a punch like a motherfucker (laughs) You said you were feeling low the other day. Now, why don't you go ahead and take some time to... Dude, I'm in a good place now. You did a good deed today. Yeah, I helped an old lady put her groceries in the car. But what did I tell you right when I got into the car? (laughs) I was about to say, give me your fucking wallet. (laughs) I was going to say, give me your purse. (laughs) You did good, Sean. I'm kidding. Well, dude, we're at the... gentle giant. Listen, we're at the grocery store. She's one aisle over from us. Jeff's got two pizzas in his hands because you know we gotta we gotta eat healthy for watching the fights. Yeah, it was. And they call all the food groups, and they call for a fucking carry out. I'm like, cancel that. We'll, I'll do it. Push your car out to your car. Show me where you're at. 
I'll throw the bags in there. Not following you home and helping him in, get in the house. Yeah, no. But I'll Sorry. help you get to your car. No hand job, though. I know that's what you're hoping for. <sighs> you know, her hands were so soft, too. Oh, thank you, Sean. It's like, the, you know, that, that nice papery old lady skin. Mercury Marauder. <laughs> <laughs> give you a jibber. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a Chrysler 300, the old school one. I think it was a town and country. Or was it? No, no, a town and country is a minivan. What were those old cop cars? Continental. No, Crown Royal. A Crown Vic. A Crown Royal. A Crown Royal. No, that's liquor. <laughs> that's liquor. I think it was a Crown Victoria. A Crown Vic. I don't know what, what it was. What was the Mercury one, though? No, Marauder? No, it was a Concord, or not Concord. What was that? Oh, fuck. Was it a Mercury? Yeah, it was a Mercury. There was a Mercury uh, Marauder. Yes. I don't know, bro. But you should have got a hand job. I don't give a shit, dude. I helped an old lady put her groceries you in her car. should have helped yourself in. And Jeff put the fucking cart back. I did. Well, I kind of held up the toilet paper. You yeah, were you know, loading you, it. You got to hold them shit tickets up, bro. I mean, you filled her trunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that That's the title of this one. Sean filled her trunk. Sean filled her trunk. For sure. No, and it's, it's, we need, we need to be better as a society. I say it a lot, but we do just, just small things. If you help someone out, I didn't look for anything in return. I just, had to chuckle at myself as Jeff and I are getting in the car because we're assholes. Yeah. Give me your purse. You well, know, you can speak for yourself on that. No. I'm a good person. <laughs> Very positive. Fuck you. You thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm talking about getting a hand job from her uh, yeah, for payment. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. No, it's, you know, I'm not saying everybody needs to go out and help an old person. Tomorrow, but, dude, hold the door for somebody. Grab a cart, you know. Yeah. Tell people, hey, I appreciate you. Shit like that. Little fucking shit. Make some jokes. Have a good time. Life doesn't have to be as serious as it is. This year is going to be a shit show, folks. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's already starting it's, out. It's that already way. starting out really fucking bad. So, you know, everyone I think had the delusion that 2020 was so bad that as soon as we got to it's, January 1st, 2021, the f- flips, the it was switch just flips. It's going to be it's, sunshine and rainbows, and no, it's not. Oh, no, bitch, it's, it's still fucking, the fucking same shit sandwich that we've been eating. Six degrees in fucking Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> fucking everybody, all the celebrities are dying off. Rest in peace, Hank Aaron. Rest in peace, fucking Larry King. Larry King. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're both three days older than dirt, but. I mean, Larry King's first interview was with Jesus. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> what was your dad like? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. And he's like, I didn't know my father. You fucking piece of I shit. Do you think? Do you think Jesus would have been in in the emo music? Hundred <laughs> percent. Hey, my father. I hate he's my the dad. ultimate. Like, that's I always joke, but. In the Bible, it goes from Jesus being a baby to 33 years old or whatever it is. I want to know Jesus at 17, 18 years old. Right. What was he doing? Like the adolescent Jesus where he hated everything. Yeah. Fuck this shit. He yeah. just wanted to smash and drink just, booze and steal goats yeah. and shit. When he figured out he could make water into wine, you don't think he was just fucking just shit faced at all times when he was like 18. I give him you know what if you had that power to pretty much do anything like you had the power to walk on water he turned out all right you Dude, know what I'm was, saying let's, let's be honest he was David Blaine before David Blaine he turned out all right right what if I always thought that like what if Jesus was like the first magician just had everybody fooled. possibly just had everybody fooled with can you imagine hand? it like if you were to teleport David Blaine back to those times heads would explode They'd be like, fucking burn this guy. Oh, yeah, or, or they'd burn him <laughs> at the stake. They wouldn't even know what to do with him. Maybe Jesus was the first magician. Can't wait for the hate mail we're going to get on oh, this it's podcast. Oh, so it's, bad. It's, oh, beautiful. The I love it. What fuck are these guys talking about? <laughs> this this is, is real talk. This is what happens inside my brain, okay? I'm sorry. We. I'm fucked up in the head. I work 12 hours a day in a fucking factory. So I think about shit all the time. Like, what would you do if you won fucking a billion dollars in the lottery? In all honesty, I would do nothing. 
Nothing. I would I would travel every now and then. I would do, but I am so content with just hanging out with some people. I don't even need to drink. Just hang out, shoot the shit. I would buy the mansion from the movie Blank Check. <laughs> That's what my life would be. I, I, would, I would have a go kart track. I would have a slide that goes from my bedroom into a fucking pool. See, I would build all that. Yeah. I would get a hundred acres, a hundred plus acres of land. I would build four to five houses on it. One being mine, and four other ones. Jeff and his family, my mom, my brother, and Frankie, if he wanted it. That's in all honesty. That's pretty much the circle that I would take care of. I would cut a check to everybody else that I wanted to. Yeah. And be like, that's what you get. Don't ask for any more. Don't call me if you're getting in trouble. This, there's enough money there for you to live your fucking life work free. Well, that's great. For the rest of your life. It's positive. See, now if I won a billion dollars, I would pay for the wall on the border <laughs> between us and Canada. Such a liar. <laughs> Between us and Canada, yeah, the Keep Canadians. Keep those fuckers out of here with your free insurance. <laughs> free, free insurance, <laughs> illegal marijuana. You sons of Stay bitches. Stay up there and freeze your balls off, you fucking bastards. <laughs> you fucking hockey-loving <laughs> sons of bitches. <laughs> your bullshit sports. <laughs> with your curling. <laughs> your bullshit curling. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'd do. Barbed uh, wire, even. No, I mean, I'd give, like I, said, I was telling you before, I'd give money to certain Just charities. Kidding, I love you. Certain charities, and I'd give money to certain charities that I know would piss people in my family off because it'd make me laugh. Don't well, don't say it. I'm not going to say it, but I'm just saying <laughs> certain charities would get some money that shouldn't get money in, my fa- in some of my family members' eyes, but whatever. Fuck it. Yeah, well, you know how that goes. You can choose your friends. You can't choose your family. Yeah, oh, I got everything I need was in a two-mile radius pretty much. So besides Frankie on his uh, excursion right now, his, his uh, vacation, yeah. if you will, from hell. Like people talk about taking flights from hell and all that shit. Frankie's on a vacation from hell right now. Yeah. Yeah going through a rough time he could use it he could use some positivity so send it his way yeah guys if you got frankie's number or almighty i'd say i'll hop on his facebook but he checks that about he don't check it he checks that about as rarely he's smarter than the rest of us man if i didn't check facebook where would i get all these awesome memes oh dude you want to get into the bernie memes no. Legendary. <laughs> Dude, it's it's too much. What's crazy now is every time I see a picture, it's it's, it's like, where's meme. Waldo? Yeah. No, if I see a picture of, like... You're looking for Bernie? So Yeah, so if someone posts a picture of their kids at, like, a fucking dinner party or something, I'm like, yeah. where's Bernie? He's in here somewhere. It's like the new where's Waldo. Every picture has got fucking Bernie with his mittens on. Fucking side note, real quick. I forgot to say it last week, but... Happy birthday, Snoop. Snoop? Gary. Oh, shit. Snoop. Hey, Snoop. I know I know. Gary listens. Happy speaking birthday, Speaking of bud. Snoop. Happy birthday, brother. But speaking of Snoop, we got that Snoop Dogg's wine yeah. today. That 19 crimes. Go check out our YouTube channel. We did a uh, YouTube. We did a review. A TGD booze review of Snoop Dogg's collaboration with 19 crimes wine. Is Cali Red. Let me hold it up. Oh, shit, son. And you can actually use your phone. There's an app. And when you take a picture of the cover. It talks to you. Snoop Dogg comes alive and starts talking to you. It's fucking uh, pretty awesome. If all else, I would buy it just to have this bottle. Just to I, show I would, people. I, in all honesty, I kind of just want to buy all the 19 Crimes bottles. Just to see what just they Just to say. have them. Just to have them. How dope is that, though? I'm in, bro. I'm in on that. It's a cool idea. I, the I wine mean, was wine, right? I'm yeah. not a big wine drinker, so. Yeah, um, and neither am I. It's, it, it was It was a red. It tasted like wine. It'd probably go good with a steak. Sure. Might, Why might, not? 
Might go good if you're, you're Maybe cooked. some cheese with that one. A nice little cheese. Maybe a little brie. Maybe what a kind little is that what you choose? Nice brie. A nice brie or gouda. A gouda cheese? A nice slice of American. Yeah, it'd go great with that wine. Everyone's like, oh, your cheese is bad and moldy, but isn't that blue cheese? Isn't blue cheese old moldy cheese? No. What is that? Blue cheese is blue cheese. But it's not even blue. Yeah, it is. If Where? You, if you get the if you get the good blue cheese, there's blue. Oh, in there. I've been getting the shit. You've been getting the you've been getting the <laughs> not aged enough blue cheese. It's white. It's like white dog shit. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, and I don't want that anywhere near my food. Dude, since I got an old, you know your palate changes every seven years, they say it's like white dog shit crumbs. Yeah, it's like if, like if I were to take white dog out, shit and just. You know, rub my hands with it, and then just crumpled out, and you place it on my burger. Who the fuck does that to a cheeseburger? Puts blue fucking cheese. I'm sorry, I'm going on a rant right now. Go ahead, man. You let me go, Sean. I'm letting you run. With let the me go. Boy. Get me off the leash. Blue fucking cheese can suck a dick, and if you eat that shit. You probably eat ass. <laughs> and you probably like it. Maybe on our anniversary, I'll lick a butthole or two. <laughs> but guess what? Or two. <laughs> this guy <laughs> likes the blue cheese on his burger. Probably eats butthole when she gets back from the gym on a Tuesday. Uh, he likes that salty <laughs> ring, bro. Get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Get fucked, blue cheese. Like I'm over it. I kind of got Joey Diaz's view when it comes to chicken wings. It's blue cheese with wings or go fuck yourself. No, absolutely not. I 100%. love the taste of asshole in my mouth. 100%. I'll eat the goddamn ranch. Ranch is ranch, is ranch bro. Blue <sighs> cheese, you got to be a fucking sick cunt if you're over here <laughs> eating blue cheese. Ranch goes on everything. <laughs> wings, chicken strips, pizza. See, that's... Our Midwestern view, <laughs> because we've had ra- ranch has always been the choice. You know, it's from all from whenever I can remember, it was ranch or Italian. Yeah, it goes on my salad too. Jesus Christ, it goes on everything. <laughs> Instead of Frank's Red Hot, you're saying Hidden Valley Ranch. Do you I put know that more shit on of everything. A diverse condiment. You don't put ketchup on salad. No. No. What do you put ketchup on? Hot potatoes. dogs, burgers, it's fries. It's about as far as it goes. Yeah, I, I don't put it on hot dogs, man. I'm not a fucking oh, communist. Okay. Well, I eat like I'm fucking ten. Yes, so it you goes do. on my hot dogs. That's that's why if I, there's I, no cheese around, it's ketchup or bust. You know, like I said, they say your palate changes every seven years. I think that's a lie because Jeff's, <laughs> Jeff's palate has never fucking changed. I know what I like. I don't like, I like to actually taste shit. I like to enjoy shit. So when I order a burger, I want to taste the burger, right? I don't need a salad on my burger. If I want lettuce and tomato, I'll just order a salad on the side. I want to taste it. Like when I get a steak, I don't want, like, oh, do you want steak sauce? No. I want to taste. Shove that A1 up your fucking ass. I want to taste the steak. So when I get a burger, even when I get like a hot dog. Maybe I'll put a little ketchup on it for flavor. Sometimes I'll eat a hot dog fucking plain. I don't give a shit. I, I want to taste I'm, the I'm, hot dog. I'm going to be honest with you. If I go to a sporting event, always a plain hot dog. Right. I've it's never... like acoustic music. I just, I want it, I want it in all, stripped down in all its glory. And it's like an unplugged, it's like an unplugged meat. <laughs> and, and the reason why I always, I've, I've come to realize it. The reason why I've always done the no condiments on there, because I hate, Tearing the packets open and then you get ketchup or fucking mustard all over your fucking fingers. Yeah, no. And, and then they you give gotta, you and they give you a napkin that's literally like one ply toilet paper. And then you got to find a place to throw the packet out. Yeah, no. So fuck uh, it. Just I barge that just dog ease, by itself. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, hence the reason why you always get nachos at a fucking sporting event. I don't. Frankie does. Oh, we got them at the Frankie Bears game gets the one nachos time. Everywhere. I'm gonna tell you right now. If they offered nachos at a fucking funeral, Frankie would be eating nachos. <laughs> For sure. It's Frankie, when we go to the movie theater, dude. He gets I, a buffet, he, dude. It's 
He needs a seat. He needs an open seat just to put all his shit on it. Popcorn. And then nachos. he's like, bro. Eat some of these nachos. Eat some of these nachos. Oh, take some of these take some of these dots. Take some of these milk duds. Eat my popcorn for me. It's like, dude. I'm good. I wouldn't have ordered any of my shit if I knew you. I was yeah. just going to be finishing all if of I, yours. If I go to a movie, it's a fucking <laughs> tub of popcorn, and right and now, drink. and it's a bottle of water for me right now because they always have the big bottles of water. Yeah, that's and it. Le- unless I may have taken <laughs> taken the smokable vitamins before, then he's got a salted pretzel. <laughs> fucking yeah, Frankie's like piece yeah, of slice of pizza. Give me the right side of the menu. <laughs> Oh, Frankie, I love you. I miss you. That's hey, I was see you soon. Yeah, uh, honestly, I was jo- gluttonous bastard. I was joking at work. I go, I could tell you Jeff and Frankie's chili order, chili's order, because we've been there so many fucking times. Oh yeah, Jeff's gonna get the sirloin with fucking mashed potatoes Classic. and the fucking vegetable and broccoli on the side, and queso dip for the table. Oh, for the table, baby. Frankie's gonna get <laughs> queso dip, the nachos. The fajita trio. The fajita trio with extra fucking shrimp or whatever. <laughs> I mean, just everything. He gets, and I get, I get, I, I get, a, I, I always get a ribeye, mashed potatoes, vegetables. That's what it is. I don't go off the beaten path when it comes to chilies because it's just, chilies is one of those restaurants where it's, I'll eat the one thing that I know that's on there that I, it's like when you go to Applebee's, which is one of the worst fucking restaurants ever. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. There's nothing redeeming what? about Applebee's. You're eating good in the neighborhood. Applebee's is shit. <laughs> it's like one step below Chili's. <laughs> it's, it, you know, every time. Applebee's or Fridays, which one would you go to? Fridays. Fridays, really? Because you could get. Friday's has the fucking, you know, endless appetizers. You spend Ooh, yeah, you spend seven dollars, you get unlimited apps. So let's just fucking hammer apps. Well that's all how night. they get you though. Like it's yeah. not that great. Like Olive Garden, some of their shit's like not that good, but you're like, ooh, the breadsticks. Fuck. Like I go to Olive Garden and legitimately I get the unlimited soup and salad. That's what I get. Yeah. I'll eat you're a just giant down lettuce. I'll eat a giant that giant Italian salad and fucking <laughs> Dude, Olive Garden, please, for the love of God, take it easy on that dressing. You know, it used it's, to be just a splash. Yeah. Now it's like the bottom of the bowl is like soup. It, it's there's so much goddamn. It's overpowering. It's take it easy, bro. Because I'm I'm coming to find that everybody is no longer taking pride in their work. They're just like fuck it. Yeah, dump it in. <laughs> yeah, I I I work here. Okay, fifteen scoops of fucking dressings going. Well, in there. who the fuck wants to? You know, you got people bitching at you. You didn't have enough fucking gabagoo and your fucking yeah, bullshit. I'm gonna, a friend of mine sells crystals and smudge sticks and all that shit on the internet. Smudge sticks. The fuck is sage? That? Where you know you like the sage to get the. <laughs> she, yeah, she she makes it all on her own. Is that a, a? It's called a smudge stick. It's a, yeah, a smudge. Yes. So what do you? What do you mean smudge it? Like if I'm a smudge something, you you're gonna fucking light the thing, and the smoke comes, and you're you're gonna clean the area. You're gonna cleanse like the, it. the thing the priest walks down the aisle with. That's the more bell, incense. the swinging that's, that's, bell on that's the chain. More incense, but this is <laughs> this is like a bunch of flowers and stuff put together. And sage and eucalyptus and all this other crazy it's shit. It's in like a big blunt. It yeah, looks like it, a blunt. Yeah, right? yeah. It, look, yeah. it looks like a, right. a poorly rolled blunt. To yeah, be honest. I feel you. It's kind of, you always see that in like those movies where they're like all, trying it's to. It's always hippies yes. that, that's doing it. Hippies or witches trying to. Cl- so, so which is she? <laughs> <laughs> Neither. She's actually a partially Native American. Fuck yeah. So she that's where she her father taught her how to do it. And wow, now I feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you gotta feel like a piece of shit. Sometimes you gotta, you know, put so, your foot in your fucking mouth. She's a single mama to bust her ass at this company. Like, she's the only one making the call. She she has no one else that helps her. So she makes, sits down, makes all these sticks. Has a you know she works with a secondary retailer to get the crystals and the like. I bought I've bought in 
I bought stuff for my mom from her. She had uh, my mom loves elephants. And she had like those uh, obsidian stone, the black obsidian stone, like elephants. Yeah, they're fucking dope. I'm like, dude, I'll take. You got three different kinds. I'll take all three. So she has a lady complain that her order was messed up. Mind you, this girl is doing sales every other week. And it's just her. And it's just her. She's packaging everything. She's taking everything to fucking FedEx and the fucking post office to ship it out and all that. Sometimes shit's going to get fucked up. But nothing, she she doesn't do anything half-assed. So if you order a stone, that fucker is wrapped in bubble wrap. It's not going to get, I mean, if they damage it, they have to fucking drop it down a flight of fucking stairs and drop a <laughs> savage yeah. elbow on it to fuck it up. So this, and she, and the girl refunded the person the money. She's like, I'm sorry that happened. Right. Everything is, you know, everything that she ships out has the. Uh, well, there's people that fucking do this shit. It has the insurance on everything, mm -hmm. so it's everything's covered. And she forgot to put, they have wands, like Harry Potter wand, like a wand, <laughs> like a magic wand. Yeah. But I, I don't know what they're, dude, I don't know any of, the, any know, of this bro. shit's for. Let's get spiritual. Yeah, it's, it, it, that's what it is. It's all for the spiritual folks, and unfortunately, I'm just not in that mindset. I mean, if I eat a handful of mushrooms, I might get fucking spiritual. But. Dude, I, I'm down... I'm down to eat a bag of mushrooms and just maybe have a wand around. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Bibbidi bobbidi like, boop. Like if you were to take mushrooms and just hold a wand and close your eyes, like in about an hour and a half, two hours, something magical might happen. It's true. Well, you might see some sparks shooting out of that. <laughs> I guess I might have to make a phone call. But Let's do this. So she goes on to her Facebook and it's just bashing her like oh no negative reviews just a massively negative review and posting and she handled it with legitimately she handled it very gracefully very nicely she refunded the lady her money she's gonna send out the product she missed i mean right she and this lady just keeps going at her like it's like what else do you have to do Is they, they have uh, nothing that's the thing People like to bitch. Let's say I go to a restaurant. You never, like, read a review. Like, some people are, you know, they'll go on. I, I'm the type, I don't give a fuck. No, let's check it out. If, if I went to sucks, a place it and it sucked, it... like, well, I guess we're not going there again. Yeah. I'm not going to take any more time to go on Yelp no. and be like, this place sucked. Because you never know. Maybe maybe the service day. sucked and that waitress fucking, you know. Her kid sat home sick. And she's worried how the kid's doing. Maybe the babysitter. Yeah, canceled. you never know what the you never know what the fuck is. these people are going through. So it's unfortunate that that's a thing, you know. It, and it is good in some ways, you know. If I'm going to buy a product, I can yeah. go and someone's like, eh, "It didn't really work. It wasn't like bright enough, or it didn't really. It was. It felt cheap. That's cool. But when you're going to go bash, especially when like if you order something on Wish, you know it's going to be a piece of shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Stay the fuck off a of wish if you don't want something that's When quality. something's like normally $300 and they're promoting it for 12, yeah. <laughs> something's afoot. Well, that's <laughs> like I was looking at, you know, the you ever see those coffee tables that have the built-in blue or the built-in bluetooth and they got the fucking cooling drawer yeah. and the It was on Wish? No, I found a company online that was selling for like 2.99. Yeah. When they're normally 1100 bucks, I'm like I wanted to pull the trigger, but then I'm like Fuck that. It's going to come. It's going to be fucked up. There's going to be something fucking wrong with it. Yeah. Sure, shit. I went and looked at the fucking reviews of the. Uh, See, I, that's, I, that's when it comes in handy. Yeah. But when you're just being a cunt. When you're bitching over a $30 rock, to be honest with you, that's what they are. They're all, they're, all those crystals, they're, they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're, but know, she took care of everything. She yeah. apologized and she righted a wrong. percent. Don't, you're beating a dead horse. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you can't please everybody, bro. Oh, I mean, I, look at the election. <laughs> oh, boy. We won't talk about that. You can't please everybody. Why are someone's, we stopping the pop, pipeline? Someone's always Jesus. someone's always going to be upset. Well, Someone probably got upset during this podcast. Oh, I'm sure. And they probably left us a fucking shit review. 
please don't do that. We're we're really trying here to uh give us a good review. If you want to comment, tell us what we're not doing right. Yeah, tell us if you want to. I don't give a fuck. If you want to hear something better. I don't like your voice. You're drunk and mumbling. You sound like you got a piece of shit in your mouth. That's fine. Maybe I'll I'll be sober next time and I'll try it. (laughs) No. Come on now. No, I'm not that fucked up. No, it's. Embellishing, guys. Come on now. I'm a professional from Wisconsin. Everybody. (laughs) It's true. Oh. Everybody was told as a kid, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. You should t- you should really heed that advice later on in your life. I know the age of the internet, everybody's got their opinions, hence the reason why our, we're in the situations we are in at this time because mm-hmm. everybody's a fucking victim right now. You're not a victim. There's this... Oh, my shoulders. I'm just, I'm just, like, sure. just like uh, our, our pal Elizabeth from Knoxville. Ooh, we're starting a revolution. What are you revolting against? What? I didn't know we were. Yeah, I didn't know we were in the midst of a revolution. Did you? No, I. I have no reason to revolt. I mean, every. I, I mean, every four years, people vote and <laughs> a president's elected. I have so no I reason to revolt because I still get up every morning. I still go to work the days I'm supposed to work. Yeah, you do your I part. St- I still go buy groceries. I still get gas on my truck. What's changed? Bro, you're missing out. If you don't know, Sean, then you're the fucking problem. So you just stay the fuck uh, out of You know, you it's, stay out. So when the revolution sorry, happens, I, uh, you're gonna be left in the dust. Sorry, I'm a I'm a I single I'm a single you. white male that owns guns and supports abortion. Oh my heavens. I, 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 now I, this I, took a turn for the no, worst. No, I, Jesus it's, it's, Christ. I, listen, let me take that back. I support a woman's choice to do whatever the yes. fuck she wants with her fucking body. Let's be honest, though. If you're getting an abortion at eight months, you're a piece of fucking shit. Yeah, there comes a point where it's like, okay. If, if but you, what's the point? Where do you cut it off? We shouldn't even get into this. Let's end I, this now. No, I'm not, I'm, yeah, we're going to put a... Great time, gonna, everybody. Yeah, yeah, we're going to stop that right fucking there. Go and uh, leave a review. On yeah. Our, uh... <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't talk about our political views because... Uh, because I like, mind they're non-existent. I know nothing yeah. about politics. I have no idea what a liberal is. I I don't even know what that means. I've See, heard it. It's the that's the funniest thing is a like, conservative. Like what side are they? Left or right? I don't even con- know. Conservatives the right, liberals the left. But I don't know what they are. So what is left? Red or blue? And which one's the donkey or the elephant? I have the, no the, idea. The donkey's the liberal, the elephant's the conservative. You know what I worry about? How my kids are doing in school. Hundred percent. How I'm living my life. Am I how you're putting how how you're putting your food on the table. How you're getting your bills I don't paid. Give a f- Fuck what everybody what else Donald needs to worry Trump's about. Donald Trump's doing now that he's not president anymore. I don't give a fuck where Ball he's golfing. News. Get fucked. I don't. Sorry, I don't give a fuck. It's over. Like I said, be positive, be good. There's, uh, you know, if you don't like what's going on now, life's beautiful. It's you got f- you got four years of it. Eat the shit sandwich for four years. Put someone else in right. there. We've already been eating it. Yeah, I mean just. Just get another helping like Frankie. Just keep ordering shit and then have your friends ha- have that help buffet you eat it. <laughs> of shit and have your friends help you eat it. If we can give you any Id- sage like advice, that from is this probably podcast, the best advice I've ever given. No matter what, you're never truly going to be where you want to be. I can't wait till Frankie's back on this podcast so we can get back to talking about. Dick and so we can get jokes. so we get back to talking about ever di- since he's been gone we've been getting real serious and real political Sean <sighs> it's well because we're older <laughs> especially I'm me. a year older now it's 2021 and I'm feeling you know I feel like an adult finally both, for both the of first us, time in my life both of us haven't gotten a haircut in fucking seven by eight months <laughs> I haven't cut the back of my hair in a long time. No, we just like I said, maybe a year. We're we're two idiots from Wisconsin that like shooting the shit, drinking beers, and yeah, we bullshit. We have a good time. We hope you enjoy it. I don't know. I mean, the five people who listen, yeah. please enjoy it. Like, subscribe. Hey, like I said, tell a friend. Leave a review. Tell a friend. We're gonna. We're actually thinking about having uh, some friends on every now and then to do a little reunion recaps of stupidity i would love to for sure so yes 
I want to have Nick, the local legend, Nick Fibish on. I want to hear his stories. Still got to Still got Small gotta, town infamous. Still got to talk about small town infamous. Still got to have Steve Otis on. Oh, Jesus. We got people coming on. Interesting, wild motherfuckers. Yeah. Trust me. We're, <laughs> you think we're fucking nuts? We're going to. We're gonna get scratch some of, the surface. Yeah, we'll get some of the wildest motherfuckers we know on here. Wild, son. Like, we, a lot of the times too is we have to uh, remind them not to drop last names and stuff like that. Even though we fuck both, it. I don't even give a though shit. we both just did. Uh, and Time, they, yeah. And they don't give a fuck. To be honest with you, I don't care. Uh, Shout out Conor McGregor, proper twelve. Proper 12 Irish Whiskey, not a sponsor. We would love you to be a sponsor, though. I'll even do a podcast. I had a Texan. <laughs> oh, where's your lucky charms? You said it. It's more pikey. It's yeah, okay. it's true. It's a mix of English and Irish. <laughs> Caravan? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, folks. Love you guys. Thanks again. Uh, Make sure you go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. We're going to try getting some more merch up there soon. We're just lazy, I guess. We're slacking. Well, I mean, uh, it's, you know. Life gets in the way. I would love to just sit here and edit videos and make T-shirts all fucking day, but. But you guys aren't buying them, so we ain't getting paid, know, so we got to go to the real you jobs. You guys, like, uh, just like us, you're probably listening to this going to work, at cool. work, from work. We got shit going on. Everybody so. does. Like I said, we might be in a dark time now, but we're going to get out of it. We got this, guys. Stay positive. We got this. Stay strong. PMA all day, every day. Positive hey, yeah. mental attitude. See you next week from the Gentleman's Den. Bye.